I'm going to step back and take a larger picture about it because I'm very interested in one health and climate and planetary health. And I know we're all obsessed about this virus, um, but I think we have to think about what some of the um, activities that have happened um, in this Anthropocene where men have um, impacted the planet, we have changed the ecology of how we live with animals. So that if you look at most of the emerging viruses um, and the emerging diseases that have happened um, over the last hundred years, they've been what we call zoonoses. Um, and zoonoses are spillover um, from animals. Um, this particular coronavirus um, was noted first in a seafood market um, in Hunan, and it has to do with the fact that they're probably, even though this is a bat coronavirus, we, we do not know whether there's an amplifier animal in SARS-1, uh, which also started in a seafood market um, in an area in China. Um, it's the intimate living with humans and animals and spillover. In SARS-1, it was probably a civet cat that was being sold. For a while, SARS-2, this particular virus was thought to be an amplifier with a pangolin, a highly trafficked animal. Um, we know now that that's probably not true, and we don't know exactly um, how it actually um, began in the seafood market. But I, I want to bring us back to this idea that we need to be doing better surveillance um, in our animals and doing a better job with our planet. Um, the large Nipah virus um, epidemic had a lot to do with deforestation and movement of bats closer to other animals, and another novel virus emerged um, so I want to bring people back to some of the larger issues when we think about these emerging viruses that happen in the world. And a connection to climate change, to the climate crisis? Yeah. Well, that is important. Um, climate change, um, deforestation, um, and changing ecology is crucial for how we have animal and human ecology change.